Hello friend, welcome to all of you. This is lecture number 7, Business Economics Macro Semester 3. In the previous lecture, number 6, we have discussed now the macroeconomic objectives and there is the end of the topic number 1. Today, we start the topic 2, the national income and the point is a 2.1 introduction and meaning and definition of national income. So let us start with our topic number 2. National income is the topic number 2 and then there is the some point 2.1 meaning and importance of national income. We also see the some concept of national income like gross national product GNP, the net national product NNP and gross domestic product GDP, per capita income is a PCI, the personal income PI, disposable income DI and the measurement of national income methods and the difficulties to measurement of national income. And last point in this topic 2.4 is the circular flow of national income to sector model. So in this uh, topic we have discussed the some point and let us start our the topic number 2. The topic number 2 is about the national income, the nation income. National income in general we say that the sum of the three sectors production, agriculture sectors production, industrial sector production and the service sector production. So all three sectors production sum within the year we call the national income. The national income concept is occupies the important role in economic theory. It is one of the important subject matter of the macroeconomics of national economy. National income, the concept of national income is the interchangeable with the national dividend, national output and national expenditure. So these three concepts are the interchangeable, the use to each other national dividend, national output or national expenditure. So GNP is equal to the GNI also means gross national product is equal to gross national income and gross national expenditure. National income is the flow of goods and services which is the become available to nation during the year. The national income is an indicator of economic health and is an instrument of economic analysis. The total performance of national nations is a evaluated performance of national income data. So economic health and is the economic condition of the nation is decided in national income data. So national income data means the is the measurement of performance of the nation during the one year. So the concept of national income is the interchangeable national dividend, national output and national expenditures. The next is the meaning of the national income the in general the national income means the total value of amount of income accruing to country from economic activity in years times is known as a national income rent and profit so in general the total value of amount income accruing country from the economic activity in the years is known as the national income so in general national income means the total value of goods and services produced annually or the national income is the aggregate monetary value of goods and services produced annually in a country means the national income. The definition of national income, the various definition given by the economists about the national income, there is a two views about the national income definition, the traditional view of the definition of national income and modern view of national income. The traditional view from the Dr. Marshall's definition, the Professor Pigou's definition and the Professor Fisher's definition. And the modern point of view, the two definitions from the Professor Simon Kuznis point of view and the National Income Committee in 1948 in India is also given the modern definition of national income. So let us start with the, our national income definition. Definition of national income given by the Dr. Marshall, which is the traditional point of view. The labor and capital of country acting on its national resources produce annually a certain net aggregate of commodities, material and immaterial, including services of all kinds, 
This is the true net annual income or revenue of the country or the national dividend. So Dr. Marshall is include the labor and capital of the country acting natural resources. So with the use of labor and capital of natural resources, produce the annually certain net aggregate commodity, material, immaterial and services is called the national income. So Dr. Marshall's definition is including traditional point of view. It is represent the total value of production and so it is the represent the from the production point of view. So Dr. Marshall's definition is the traditional point of view and it is represent the value of total production and the next definition is given by the Professor Pigu. According to Professor Pigu, national income is the part of objective income of the community including the course income derived from abroad which can be major in money. So Professor Pigu's point of view, the income derived from the abroad in the money form is included into the national income. So Professor Pigu's definition is represent a receipt of the total products ends and it's included into the traditional point of view. So Professor Pigu is thinking that the income derived from the abroad in monetary form is included into the national income. The next, okay, our next definition is Professor Fisher's definition. The national income consists of solely of services as received by ultimate consumer, whether they are from material or from the human environments. So national income consists only those services which is received by the finally consumer whether they are from the material or the from the human environment. So this features definition is represent annual consumption and it is in an adequate concept of the welfare which is depend on our consumption and consumption is represent our standard of living. So national income the consumption point of view the features definition is represented. So, uh, Dr. Marshall's definition of national income, Professor Pigu's definition of national income and Fisher's definition of national income, these are the traditional point of view. And the modern point of view, the definition of national income is included by the Simon Kuznet. The net output of commodities and services flowing during the year from the country Productive system in hands of the ultimate consumers, it's called the national income. So net output of commodity and services flowing during the one year and country's productive system in hands ultimate of consumers. So this modern definition is given by the Professor Simon Kuznets. The another uh, modern definition we include in India, the National Income Committee 1948 is given the national income definition. A national estimate measure, the value of estimate measure, the volume of commodities and services turned out during a given period of counted without the duplication. So National Income Committee of India 1948 given the definition, the volume of commodity and services turned out during the given period of counted without the duplication is called the national income. So, in general, we call the national income means the total final production of goods and services without the use of the duplication, count at the market rate, it's called the national income. So, all the final goods and services production within the year, count at market rate, we call the national income. So, this is the definition of modern point of view. The Simon Kuznet definition or national income property definition is the modern point of view. According to its present idea, national income will be defined aggregate factor income, the factors like land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurs, earning labor or the property which is arise from the current production of goods and services of national economy. The national income refers the factors of production, the labor and property supplied by the normal residents of the uh, national territory. So these are the definition. What are the features we looking in these definitions? 
National income is a net product of all goods and services produced in financial year by all productive element of the economy. So it is the all the goods and services production produced in the one financial year. The next feature we tell that the all the final goods and services are exchanged with the money in financial year are included in the national income. So those goods are exchanged for monetary purpose, money purpose is included into the national income. And the national income measure the doesn't include the double counting and also uh, does not take non-productive factor into the account of income. So there is avoiding the double counting into the national income. The depreciation cost incurred of capital goods and services is deducted from the gross national product. So depreciation is not included into the uh, measuring of national income. It is the deducted from the uh, gross capital goods and services production. The national income is derived from the income residents of the country while derived the income of the non-residents. So these are the features of the national income definitions. Summary of this lecture, what we learn from this lecture. The concept of national income occupy an important role in economy. It is important subject matter of national income and important subject matter of macroeconomics. National income is an indicator of the health and instrument of economic analysis of the country. How the economy is performed, it is evaluated by the national income data. So national income is the flow of goods and services which is the uh, become available during the one year. In general, the national income, the total value of goods services produced annually in the country. Thus the national income is the aggregate monetary value of goods and services which is the produced in country means the national income. So here we complete the uh, lecture number 7 about the national income meaning and definition. For this point of view, you can refer to some reference books and textbooks like uh, M.L. Jinger, Macroeconomic Theory, Vinda Publication, Mumbai, S.E. Raudja, Macroeconomic Theory, Chan Publication, David K.K. Navalkar, Modern Economic Theory, Chan, Nanjilli, Rasa R.G., S.P. Ada, Gotekar, Gola, Business Economics, Macro, Prashant Publication, same three and same four books is also available, Library and Market. The assignment question for you on this topic, write a short note on the definition and the meaning of national income. And the next is the point out or write down the features of national income definition or write down the features of national income. So thank you for watching this video and the next one in the video number 8 we are watching the importance of the uh, national income. Thank you.